do 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 probably put a light on So you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia and i make mental health videos here on youtube pretty much every day i say pretty much i do have my days where i can't upload i'm a human being after all today i want to talk a little bit about how quetiapine has helped me and those of you who don't know quetiapine is an antipsychotic i've been taking this for just over a year now and it has made some very very dramatic changes in my life in ways that you wouldn't think so to start with i take quetiapine twice a day I take 25 milligrams in the morning which is a very very low dose. I take 150 milligrams at night. I'm on standard release. The higher dose in the evening makes me very very sleepy. The reason I take the higher dose in the evening is because evenings are the time that I experience worsened paranoia. It's when my hallucinations are worse and that's just a bit of background on me and where I take it. I got prescribed it initially when I was inpatient and I have continued to take it since then. I haven't actually come off it at any point so in that respect I can't comment on things. My dose was increased slowly from 25 to 150 because my body does not always respond well when I change my medications or start taking different ones and change all of that. I take standard release quetiapine, also known as Seroquel. When I first started taking this it made me so drowsy. I think I literally slept for two days when I first started it and I was like oh my god I can't do this. It made me feel so not myself that it just didn't feel right. And then I carried on taking it. I have had a few issues with the medication. And I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna be honest and that is all this channel's about. For 2019 when I was on quetiapine I put on a lot of weight, a lot of weight, and I have got it down now um, because the quetiapine makes me really hungry, and hunger is something that most people who take standard release quetiapine experience. I don't know what it is about it that makes it makes us so hungry. It makes everyone feel hungry. And what do you mean? I actually have the British Medical Association book on medications and drugs. I got this because I wanted to learn more about it. Quetiapine is an atypical antipsychotic drug that is prescribed for the treatment of schizophrenia as well as for mania and depression, and bipolar affective disorder, panic depression, it can be used to treat positive symptoms, thought disorders, delusions, hallucinations, and negative symptoms, limited effects, emotional and social withdrawal. Your drug prescription is tailored to you. Do not alter your dosage without checking with your doctor. I say it's about every medication. Do not change your own dosage. Stick to what your psychiatrist tells you to take. Personally, I think quetiapine is a an I, I think it's good for what it does. And I have a lot of antipsychotics in the past and I haven't responded great to them. Um, I've had some of them give me adverse effects. So when I was on haloperidol recently, quetiapine is something that I would recommend to people, especially as a first antipsychotic anyway. It's had the least side effects out of all my medications. I'm being 100% honest with you guys. And it's probably been the most beneficial out of everything that I take. It helps with the most intense things that I I deal with. Let me just say this to people who are afraid of taking medication. I would rather take a tablet than deal with any of my mental illness. That is why I am very pro-medication. I've done a lot of therapy in my life. I've done different types of therapy since I was six years old and that a lot because I'm 22 now and I'm still doing therapy. I'm waiting for trauma therapy. You know it's probably one of the most widely used antipsychotics out there and I, I do know quite a lot of people who take it. The dosage for everybody is different, nobody's body works the exact same. The reason I don't talk about specific medications as much anymore is because very simply I'm not here to be hated on. I don't put myself out there for people to attack. I do what I do because I want to help others, that is literally my only motivation behind it. So yeah, I hope this video is kind of giving you some information about what I have here, about my personal experience. Obviously, as always, I am not a professional and I'm not trying to be. As you saw, I very literally read from a book in this video. So, that. Um, yeah, we were delivery to because honestly, it might only just be after mine, but I've already nearly fallen asleep three times and the home treatment team dropped off my medication. I know that lighting's pretty. Bad. I needed to fix this colour. Have my meds, obviously, you can probably. I literally just fell over. Nothing. And I 
it also do. But I'm gonna carry on watching him fall asleep. It hasn't been that long since I last vlogged either. It's been half an hour. It's been half an hour. I'm lying upside down in my bed because I couldn't sleep down that end. So I'm lying to sand. Um, so I had the 200 milligrams of quetiapine last night and I woke up about 10 o'clock ish. It's nearly 12 now and I've only just about ready. Like, I, can't, I haven't even got out of bed yet because I literally know I can't walk at the minute. I was, I'm in pain and I feel so out of it that I'm like pretty convinced I'll fall over. Because I actually fell over last night when I was putting my um, headphones on charge. I literally fell over and I don't even know what I fell over. Um, so yeah, this video is about me taking quetiapine. The dose that I'm on now is 50 in the morning and 200 at night. I think I explained this a few nights ago. The 200 milligrams at night is a lot for me, honestly. It's made like, it's really affected my taste. So I can't, I'm finding it hard to drink things and eat things. Like it, I just got the horrible, taste in my throat and it actually come on since i started the higher dose and i'm a bit like because I, I know that can be a side effect so i'm gonna end the video here thank you for watching and of course if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button because i make videos pretty much every day because we're on lockdown <laughs> life's so sad okay bye guys